Confidence comes from your mind, not your body. I help women who have been struggling with their body and relationship to food for their entire lives go from feeling stuck and hopeless and insecure to a life of freedom and confidence and their wildest dreams. So my name is Julia. I am 35 years old. I live in Vancouver. I am a body confidence expert. I get to support women who are struggling with their relationship to food and their body and support them to really heal these issues from the inside out so that they can live a life that they truly deserve. Yeah, I always wanted to work with women and I always felt really inspired to help women break free of limiting beliefs and patterns that really hold them back. And it became very clear that I wanted to work in the niche of body confidence because I struggled with this most of my life. When I found healing through this, I felt so passionate and dedicated to give other women the same freedom and help them to have that because I know how imprisoning these struggles are and how small your life gets when these struggles are so prevalent. So yeah, once I healed from those issues, it became a very clear path for me and my greatest motivator. I remember being as young as maybe 11 and having really insecure thoughts about my body, looking at other girls in school and feeling like I don't look the same as them and is there something wrong with me? And my mother really struggled with her body image and self-esteem and so I think that modeling as well really affected me because I didn't really see what it looked like to be a confident woman and um, those thoughts of not feeling good enough in my body just really kept going and I became really invested in being perfect at everything I did like perfect at dance and school and thinking that that was how I was going to feel really a sense of self-worth and um, really getting involved in the dance community I mean it was really healthy in a lot of ways but I felt a lot of pressure again because my body was different than the other girls in the classes and I eventually kind of developed disordered eating patterns. I developed anorexia in my last year of high school. And it was this mentality that, oh, if, if I change my body and I'm smaller, you know, maybe I will be praised more in this dance class or put in the front row for once. And of course that never happened. And I just learned how this chase to change my body actually never led to me feeling better about myself. It actually slowly destroyed my life that year. So luckily I healed from that quite quickly, um, anorexia, but the thoughts about my body and my self-esteem continued for, for many, many, many years. And later on in life, even though I did a lot of therapy and counseling and things to, to support myself, I still found that I couldn't escape this sense of low self-esteem and self-worth about my body image. I became a fitness instructor and even then, when I was exercising as much as I did and I felt that I had the body that I always wanted, it still wasn't enough. And I eventually burnt myself out from this over-exercising, chronic dieting, and my body just gave up and said, I can't do this anymore. And so that became the really rock bottom point where I mean, I had so many physical symptoms, so many things that doctors couldn't support me with. And I just kind of threw my hands up in the air and was like, I cannot do this anymore it's taken almost 30 years of my life and there just has to be another way so that's when i really started you know rejecting diet culture rejecting this over exercising and deciding i'm going to heal this from the inside out heal my mental and emotional health heal these patterns these toxic thoughts that are keeping me stuck and that's when everything changed and my life completely changed and that is what led me into doing this full time and helping others because i really healed this myself even when we think, oh, if I just change my body, I'll be happier and I fixate on this, you often get to that point and realize, hey, I don't actually feel any happier because I spent this whole time chasing something about my appearance and changing my body, but I haven't focused on changing my mind. So those same toxic limiting thoughts will follow you at whatever size you are because you haven't actually done the work to heal the inside. Staying fixated on this has so many detriments to your physiology, your mental and emotional health, your quality of life, and it's just not worth it. When we learn how to regulate our nervous system and come out of those chronic stress responses that we get into from fixating on our body and you know all the other life stressors that we have, we get into such an empowered place. We learn what it feels like to be confident, to feel 
peace, to feel content, to feel empowered. We cannot feel those things about ourselves and our body image when we are chronically dysregulated. And nobody really teaches us that, which is so cool. But if you can learn how to regulate your nervous system and bring yourself back to what we call the social engagement system, then we are really learning how to thrive in life because we are we are healing our nervous system, healing our mind. And really, that is crucial for any person that wants to feel confident about themselves, feel peace with their body. It's not going to happen if we don't know how to actually help your nervous system to get there. Emotional freedom techniques is the full name of the technique, otherwise known as tapping. And what this technique really does is it gives us emotional freedom. So when we're struggling with our body image and we have chronic negative thoughts, we are turning on our stress response, like we talked about earlier. And this technique is so powerful because not only does it regulate your nervous system, but it takes power and energy away from any negative thoughts that you have about yourself or your body. So as you use this technique and you focus on those negative thoughts that you have, what happens is that we take that intensity away from those negative thoughts. We truly support your brain to cut them out because we start neutralizing those thoughts and eventually when your brain no longer sends energy to negative thoughts it's like they disappear our brain prunes them out like they it cuts out those negative thoughts so you basically can take a very charged negative thought about yourself or your body use this technique and take that intensity from a 10 out of 10 to a 1 out of 10 or a zero so that's how you truly rewire your brain and have freedom from all these negative thoughts that you have about your body or food or not to mention it can help you transform any kind of pattern that you have that you want to overcome or change it's truly revolutionary and i wish way more people use this technique because it is truly a miracle worker so at a basic level we're tapping on these specific points of our body which is a very specific sequence so we start here on the side of the hand and then i'm just going to show you what the points are as we go through and then i'll, I'll show you the next level so even just tapping on these points of our face and our body, it sends comic signals to our brain. It shifts us out of a stress response and it is regulating our nervous system like I talked about. So when you are in a state of stress, you cannot feel confidence about your body. You cannot feel presence and groundedness and all the things that we want. So this technique just by tapping, not even saying words, is already supporting us with those goals. That's one sequence of just the tapping points. Now, if we want to add a little bit more, what I would say is we focus on an issue that may be upsetting you. So let's say I woke up today and I was feeling really negatively about my body image. What it's going to sound like with uh, putting this all together, we say, even though I'm really struggling with my body image this morning and I have a lot of anxiety, I love and accept myself anyways. And then I would repeat that three times even though I'm feeling really unhappy about my body image this morning. So I'm giving voice to what's upsetting me. And then I'm affirming that I still love and accept the person that I am. And then when we tap through the remaining points here, I'm just going to focus on that negative thing. I feel really bad about my body image this morning. And I'm going to describe this more. So I tried on a pair of pants and they didn't fit. And I felt really triggered. I feel a lot of anxiety. And it's really upsetting me. Feeling really upset about my body image this morning. I feel really anxious and upset about my body. All this anxiety and stress about my body. So then that would be one round and I would check in with myself or if I was leading you through this, and ask you, okay, now on a scale of one to 10, what happened to that anxiety about your body image? And likely as we even just did one round, you would feel a decrease in how strong that anxiety is. And so with repetition of us repeating this technique, we're gonna bring that anxiety, whatever's upsetting you down from that 10 out of 10, let's say, again, lower and lower and lower till you have freedom from it. So this issue is no longer occupying so much intensity and space. And imagine the impact of that. If you woke up and had a really crappy morning because of your body image, but you had a tool that helped you to take your power back, now your day looks completely different and how you're gonna support yourself looks completely different. So that's a very quick demonstration of how it works. We've been conditioned to believe that the only option as painted by diet culture 
you know, is to go on a diet to love yourself and to restrict your food and to make your life very small. And I don't think women have actually been properly educated that, hey, there's another path for you and to really show them what's possible and that we don't have to go down this restrictive avenue that is going to consume our, our lives for the rest of time and make us very miserable, I might add, that you can choose a much more empowering option. We just need to give them more education on that and show them how to do it. I have so many comments that people will say to me like, yeah, I, I do the macro counting, I do the dieting, I do the intense exercise and my body's not losing weight. And why is that if I'm following everything that diet culture has preached? And I think that's just so important to talk about because that's exactly what I'm saying is that you can do everything that you have been taught to do, dieting, counting your calories, doing your macros and being so diligent with it. And you can still not lose weight because this is the point that there are so many other factors at play. And as I've shared in my videos, you know, neuroscientist Andrew Huberman of Stanford University has shown that the impact of our beliefs on our physiology is huge. And they've demonstrated how just working on beliefs in these studies, beliefs alone, not changing diet, not changing exercise, the people where they worked on their beliefs, you know, their beliefs about themselves, their beliefs about how they move their body, their beliefs about food, that group had significant changes in their hip to waist ratio, their body fat percentage, all these different health markers, and they didn't change anything about their exercise or diet, nothing. They just worked on the inside, which is exactly what I'm saying. Like this is so important for us to realize because we've been ignoring this for so long and thinking that diet and exercise is just the way to be healthy and have the relationship you want with your body. But how much more empowering is that to know that you can have such a big impact on what you want and your quality of life just from healing your mind? Like, why don't we spend more time focusing on that and teaching people how to do that instead of measuring their food and living a life of agony through dieting?